Viva Garnacho. Come on, man. 18-year-old Alejandro Garnacho coming on, getting the second there. Back with a bang. And Manchester United comfortable 2-0 winners against Wolves. Were we wasteful? Yes. Were there problems? Yes. Will I discuss them all in this video? Yes. But I am <laughs> a little bit excited by Alejandro Garnacho coming on and in the space of what? One shot? Unfortunately for Jaden Sancho, doing more than what Sancho did across the course of 90 minutes. He is a star. What a clinical finish that was. In off the post. Shirt off. 18. Just signed a new contract. Yes, please. Oh, baby. We need him back in this team. And I can I can understand why Eric Ten Hag has said that he didn't want him to go to the under-20s World Cup. I hope Garnacho understood that decision because it was a show of faith from the manager and him coming off the bench and doing that because we needed that second goal. Hey, we probably would have had the 1-0 win anyway. It wasn't the best of games. Man United had chances galore. Look at this again. 27 shots we had, 9 on target. Bentley, their goalkeeper, probably man of the match. He made three really, really good one-handed saves. Like down to one from Sancho, one from Anthony. I think one from Bruno maybe as well. Can't remember. But that was the result that we needed. We look at the Premier League table now. We are level on points with Newcastle. We have dragged Newcastle into this conversation. Now, their goal difference. Let's not look at the goal difference, right? Let's look at the positives today. Let's not look at the goal difference. We've dragged them into the conversation. Liverpool playing away at Leicester on Monday. But was it on Monday? Well, let's see what happens. Who gives a shit? Let's just focus on United's games. And let's just focus on Alejandro Garnacho for a little bit more. And then I'll dive into the full match reaction. It's hard not to get excited about Garnacho. He is a star. He is the dude who makes you shuffle your bum to the front, to your front of your seat and make you stand up every time he has the ball. He's such a difference maker. And to have that quality consistently, I would say, this season, at the age of 18... It's not usual. It's not normal. It's star quality. And he has got it in abundance. He's signed that new contract. Tell you what, maybe think about putting the number seven shirt on his back next season. I reckon that's something Eric Ten Hag will think about. But it was a game where, look, Anthony Martial got the goal that we needed. It's like a goal, finally. A goal. We scored because we had chances and chances and chances. In fact, we had hmm, 27 chances. The thing that was annoying me a bit in that first half was just... The decision-making wasn't quite there, was it? And we know where the decision-making was kind of coming wrong from, and that was Anthony. Anthony is such a raw player. A very good player. I would argue, probably our most dangerous player today. Should the game have been buried? Yeah, it should have been. His decision-making on two or three... When he burst... That run that he did on the wing... Beat like three men, ran into space all the time in the world. He'd done all the hard work. And then just decided to cut it back to Martial, which was the wrong decision. Um, when he was through, when uh, when the um, defender slipped, he went through, just curled his shot wide of the post. It's frustrating, yes, but the raw talent is there in abundance. And when he continues to develop, and I think he's developed this season. I think he's improved across the course of the season. And I think he will continue to improve. But I just want to go back and I want to speak about Alejandro Garnacho a little bit more. I can't help it. I can't help it. He's just... Football's supposed to entertain you. And I wouldn't really say that. That was a game where all of us were sitting there going, please don't let that happen. Please, please don't let it happen. Please don't let it happen. And there were, there were going to be people that were probably, um, I imagine, frustrated at Eric Ten Hag's subs. Oh, what's he bringing on Fred and Maguire for? Ugh. Eric Ten Hag, clearly at that, he brought Garnacho on. Hmm. Clearly at that point, I think Ten Hag had a bit more faith in his defence keeping the clean sheet than his attack getting the second goal. And also... Who else are you bringing on from that bench? Veghorst on for Martial. <laughs> At least we can laugh about it now when, when Veghorst missed that header. Oh, man. It is ridiculous how bad he is in front of goal. Good worker. Give him that. Thumbs up. But off your trot in the summer. Did a really good job. But that's about it. <sighs> but look at the table. All right. That's what that's what today needed to be. Today. We're in the results end of the season. There are three games left. Manchester United now are two wins away from a guaranteed top four finish against Chelsea. We play them next at Old Trafford. We don't play them next. We obviously play Bournemouth next. Um, I don't trust Manchester United away from home. I don't think you trust Manchester United away from home. But I trust that lad. You can't see his face there. But, oh, man, it's so good to see Garnacho back. And my, how we've missed him. Good finish from Martial. Another, another game where I'm just... What am I seeing from Martial? Going down a little bit too... I don't know. It's just... He never seems quite there. Like... 
if he if he had a scrap with Anthony, Anthony would absolutely deck him. Because Anthony's a fighter. Martial might be stronger, faster, quicker, but Anthony would just he wouldn't stop until he wins. Martial hasn't got that dog in him. He doesn't. Kind of frustrating. Bruno Fernandes, I don't think he got on the ball enough today. I think he got the assist for Garnacho's goal, if I'm correct. I love Bruno. I really, really love him. But United didn't have that control today. It, it, a lot of the time in the middle. Kind of got played from front to back. But going back to that again, like so, so often, I mean, how? I think it's pretty much every... It's not going to be every single game, but feels like it at this moment in time. Just talking about our wasteful finishing. To be fair to Bentley, he had a really good game. Their goalkeeper making his debut. Three or four really top class saves. So the reason I'm saying it's comfortable is look at that. Wolves did not have a shot on target. It was a very comfortable win. I expected it to be a comfortable 3-0 win. It was a comfortable 2-0 win in the end. Now you might have been nervous during it. I was nervous during it. But that's... Get this season over the line, lads. Get this season over the line in finishing the top four. And then we just pray for a miracle in the FA Cup final. Stranger things have happened. But we do need a miracle in the FA Cup final. Um, I'll tell you who else I thought was very good today. Aaron Wambasaka. <laughs> what was that bit of skill that he did at some point? Mate, great footwork from Wambasaka. Good um, overlapping runs with Anthony. It was good. I thought they played quite well together. Varane, I think, looked very much like a man who has missed it the last seven games. Certainly in the first half. I think he controlled and settled. There was one point where it was a ball over the top. Costa was in behind him. He controlled it and in midair, volleyed it back out. I thought, no, that was class. But in the first half, passes were a little bit wayward. Yeah, but it's almost like he's just missed the last seven games of football. But United there today, doing, doing the job, right? That's, that's, what you're gonna, that's what people will look back on that game in the end. Uh, if, if you spoke about the game tomorrow, how, how did United play yesterday? He goes, well, you know, we had, a lot, we had a lot of chances, very wasteful. Keeper made a couple of decent saves, but Garnacho is going to be the talking point. And he should be. I think he's a rare player. I really, really do. And he's just signed that new five-year deal. And I do feel there is a real question mark around Sancho. I don't think it's an unfair thing to say, but it has to be said because Garnacho is there. He's not knocking on the door. Garnacho's ahead of him in the pecking order. 18-year-old academy product Garnacho in his first season is ahead of Sancho in the pecking order. Sancho, the thing that doesn't really work with Sancho is... Sancho works really well. Remember that assist? I think it was against Everton to McTominay. Sancho works really well when it's like chaotic and there's loads of players and it's quick one-twos and it's intricate football. But when it's like, when, when you're hitting on a transition, when you're hitting through, it, Sancho doesn't really, I don't know. He seems to slow it down a little bit. I don't quite know. He's certainly not as direct as Garnacho. And he's certainly not, well, Sancho scored that great goal against Spurs. I don't know. I'm a bit confused about, about Sancho because... The comparison there is Garnacho in his first season. So therefore, I think questions have to be asked. And I don't think it's unfair to say that whatsoever. Sancho had three months off, right? So you can expect that sort of return. But <laughs> let's just speak about Garnacho a little bit more. It's almost like I'm a little bit excited. These last, I don't know, three, four weeks haven't had much excitement. Two losses back to back. Man United, ugh, a horrible stat prior to us scoring in that game. I don't think any team in the Premier League had scored less goals in the last 10 games going into that. That's how poor our finishing has been up front. But today, 2-0, another clean sheet, six in a row, I think, at Old Trafford now. And Man United have a firm grip on this top four. We play the same amount of games as Liverpool now, and we are four points clear of them. For us to throw it away from this position, we have to throw away two of our next three results. It's well within our hands, well within our grasp. And Eric Ten Hag will be relaying that to the players. A really important win. Man of the match. I'm probably giving it to uh, <laughs> to their goalkeeper, to be fair, Bentley. I thought he played very, very well. I, I would probably, if I'm being totally honest, I think I'd give it to Anthony. I think he was a bit of a... He was, across the course of the 90 minutes, he was the biggest difference maker. He was our most dangerous player in that game. He might not have got the goal. He got the assist, smart assist, right foot assist, by the way. Jeez. Could have had more, but in his first season, I'm going to give him that leeway. You can let me know what you think in the comments below, but 2-0, and it's nice. Yapstam is so happy. Look how happy Yapstam is.